Hello, hello everyone. Got a dingy here. Welcome to season two of the Global Tank League. I am here with Tank Killer. Hello, Tank Killer. Hi. And we have Decoy versus RNC on Cliff as the first match. What kind of uh, setup you think they're going to be doing? Think. Um. It depends on where they're wanting to play. I mean, well, actually, the setups are... You can still pull off the same setups and sort of tank line them. If they're pushing bowl or if they're going to go with a different setup uh, playing... Essentially not pushing the EF uh, two line. Um, RNC being the ones to pick tanks right now. I mean, uh, two IS-757 have an E4. It's not enough to go off of for me to tell you what I think they could do. Plus, I don't know what spawn they have. So, spawns can be super dependent on this map. Um... They are going a bit heavy, though, I think. A bit, obviously, because of the heavies that they've chosen, but just their mobility of those heavies. I mean, the IS-7s are the only fast vehicles, so I don't think that they'll... RNC will at least push balls with that. With that RNC lineup. has left spawn. I think, uh... RNC has, has what? Top spawn? They, have, yeah, they, have, they should have the south, the south side with left spawn. I think last season they used IS sevens over on uh, North Spawn, um, D four. They climbed up there. Go yeah, you them. can do. I mean, you could put an IS seven there, but it's just it's it doesn't have enough gun depression to peak anything. It'll just get punished from F eight, and it'll get punished from E eight. It casts. Yeah, I think they use it mainly for uh, any squatting shots. and support earlier on. They only had one of them there. Yeah. Um, there is the 50 beast. This so. is my first stream for season two, and last season we didn't have the machine. Do you, do you have you seen much of that this season, or is it or are prime tanks not allowed? Or I guess uh, uh, no, the prime I've tanks seen quite a few of them. Have you? Are allowed? You don't see them too much at the top. Now, obviously, on cliff so you may not well, see it, but uh, other maps they could be viable. Yeah. Like, say. The machine's really good on bigger open maps. Yeah. Yeah, for uh, mobility. Because what you have to do is you have to kind of keep them, keep them hidden, because even though everybody thinks the machine's really OP, tall armor's really not that good, and they're just insta-focus now. Uh, in the current meta, they don't have the penetration to really deal with... I mean, they do. They don't really have the penetration to deal with the hold on IS-7. So a machine is useless peeking against... Um, other heavy tanks in a haul down scenario. It's absolutely useless. The only way a machine works is either in scenarios where they're fighting the medium tanks or fighting heavies on like flat ground. Yeah. But it looks like we're gonna get this started, so I don't think I do believe the other team ran out of time, right, to pick vehicles. Yeah. I think they only had three selected. Wow. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and make a little prediction here. This is just my hypothetical guess that RNC will win this match. Um, no idea why. I just I just have a feeling. No, I'm, I'm a big fan of the underdog. I'm going to go with Decoy on this. We're going to go with Decoy on this with the 3v8. They're going to have... Three, hyper... <laughs> They're gonna Three have... very careful vehicles, although I do believe they will sit AFK because they are upset. Yeah. That they forgot. Oh, no, we're moving. 430U is moving at least. 430U with the 1v8. I think IS-7 and 5A will sit at AFK. And if it wasn't RNC's plan to push bowl now, um, I think they've decided that they're going to push bowl. Uh, they really should just go kill the 5A. It'll, it'll honestly be faster than capping. Just killing these three, but... You still get more points for killing everyone, right? Rather than capping it. Yeah, you do. Which is why I hope they don't cap. Because the 430 U has better camo rating than the Bacha. So yeah. the 430 U <laughs> just has to kind of run away and he'll be fine. Unless he, they're stupid and try to go for resets for some reason. I. This is uh, Decoy's first season in comp, right? Decoy's first season here. Yeah. I've never seen them before, but I don't know much of the lower clans. Uh, I'm assuming so the because people. they didn't know that both teams selected within the first one of the three-minute timer. 
Well, that's why they post the rules I do before the season the starts for situations like this. Man, I hate to be there. This is unfortunately. Yeah. Gonna cause RNT some points here if they cap out. I hate to be the one of tough love, but I mean, I should have known. I had seven just killed himself. Yeah, I saw that. This five eight stays alive. RNC doesn't get full points, and yeah. I mean, GG RNC, nice win. Yep. Riveting performance. So I'm not even gonna bother Deep going over. Yeah, I don't even think. I mean, congratulations, RNC. One hundred percent accuracy on the five eight. <laughs> yeah, one shot fired, one shot pen. Yep. Seven enemies detected. Really pulling his weight. Four through to you. With the remaining one enemy detected. Now, this map, so far as what I've seen in the um, matches that I've played over the years. Uh, the current setup is you either push bull or you don't push bull. I mean, I know it's always been it, but right now a lot of teams have been just wanting to hit bull super hard, whether that be with, we've seen it with two machines, 250Bs, 25As, just tons of mobility, and that can get easily punished now. Teams are starting to figure out that you don't need to push the bull to win this map. They're starting to figure out ways to counter that. Now, the ways to counter it are a bit more difficult because the climb at E4 no longer exists. And I think E4 made this map um, a lot more viable in terms of the comp scene. This map is super boring. It's super RNG. Because you have to flip a coin every single time. You say, hey, are we going to push bull or not? And if you say yes, then you have to automatically assume, well, we could be going into a blood, uh, blood fest in there, just EF2, because everyone else is going to push around bull too. And it makes for some really boring gameplay. I know that my clan... Uh, ban this map uh, for the round one because we don't want to. We'd prefer to play a map like Berlin, uh, even though Berlin's a useless map too. But I'll keep my opinions to myself. We prefer to play a map like Berlin over this, just because this map's like flipping a coin whether or not you win an engagement by making a push. It's just really difficult now to gauge uh, now that they remove certain climbs and certain things aren't as viable. But we will see. I think Decoy will probably get all of her tanks picked this time after losing the first match, and I'll say like a technicality. We'll see what yeah, they that's pick. A, <clears throat> that's a pretty big awakening for a team to have to deal with that. Yeah. I think they've well, sorted things it, out it, now, though. Compared to last season, at least they're not arguing and fighting about it. You know. That's yeah, that was an issue. That was a big issue last season, which I'm glad a lot of teams are instead of arguing and fighting about it, they're just continuing on the matches and there's no issues mid match. Both teams running a fifth fifty seven heavy with decoy running two fifty seven heavies. Tank's not really too useful on a map like this. Um you can't really keep it hidden to expose itself last uh, last second. I mean, there's a couple different spots you can keep a 57 heavy. You can keep it at H1 and then throw something at, like, F2 climb, and then if something tries to push the F2 climb, the 57 heavies can just clip. But running two 57 heavies, I haven't seen that in a long time. I'm a little surprised about the 60 choice. Yeah, I mean, the 60 TP, coming from someone that I, I have uh, played that tank quite a bit. I played it a lot when it came out. It's really not that good, uh, even in pubs. I mean, the armor on it doesn't really work the way you want it to. It has easy pen capolas. If you're to its side at all, it's an easy pen. And... It's very slow, which is what kills it the most. It's very slow and has a very, uh, very bad DPM. 
Yeah, the uh, so, I did a little homework on it when it first came out, and uh, a lot of people say that it's it's really good at being top tier. But if you're fighting same tier or higher, then the armor just doesn't work. Now that's in pubs, and we're we're in comp where everyone's pretty much just gonna be firing prem rounds, so that's even more the case. Yeah, I was the second person to three market on console, and I can comfortably say the armor does not work how you want it to. Uh, it's more trollish than anything, and one of the worst things about it, and no one's going to tell you this about this tank, because I know it doesn't seem like that big of a deal, but you're in a massive slow heavy tank, which you think will weigh a lot, but it doesn't. It only weighs 60 tons, hence this, you know, 60 TP, 60 ton proto. Um, and so when you get into a close quarter engagement with even an IS-7, it's very rough to hit your shots when an IS-7 can literally move you out of the way. Because an IS-7 weighs more than you do. Or it's worse when you, for instance, come up that 705A that weighs 100 tons. A 40 ton difference is a lot in a close quarters combat when this man is just shoving you up against walls and there's literally nothing you can do about it. But we will see what happens this game. Decoy has all their tanks selected. I didn't even... I was talking so much I didn't even <laughs> get a chance to look. Uh, yeah, I honestly cannot tell you what they're doing with those lineup. I have not seen an Action X in comp for a very long time. I think I saw it once or we'll twice see last season on the uh, the lower league. That was uh, I'm gonna say it was Mountain Pass, way back in early season. Sand River, RNC getting. Fantastic spawns for their heavy tanks. Uh, to push bowl, which is what they are doing. Like that 705A literally spawned up front compared to everything else. Decoys, Batra can, uh, Action X can't sit there, they will get farmed. Uh, Action X especially, because it doesn't have the camera rating to escape. As soon as these autoloaders get up here, they should have an easy kill on the Batra, at least. They can just overpeak and kill him and not take anything in return, but looks like they're not. I know this corner fight's going down here. Who's winning? Yeah, it's kind of even. Right now. Looks like RNC's up just a little bit. Yeah, the, the 5A's probably, lost to a 500. Probably only because, of, honestly, that E4 in the back. This E4 being back here, although it's not like the biggest crossfire, he can punish uh, any of those guys if they peek too far. Just missed his shot, though, unfortunately. So 430, you need to be careful. I mean, he is going to go down here, most likely. I don't see him surviving this. Dead. I don't know if that bat chat's been. Uh, I don't know if he has either. The best play for the bat chat to make right now is to go all the way just to A5. Keep these guys in the cross, and the action X can just keep peeking them and lighting these guys from the middle. Uh, they need to try to take out this 50B, this 57 Heavy. The Batchat could honestly rotate all the way back into their base, go to A2 right now. Um, not quite peeking all the way on top of the climb back in A2, but just peeking on the left-hand side and shoot all of these uh, 50, shoot the 57 Heavies in both 50Bs uh, in the side of their tank. But They have a lot of faith in this Action X holding back both these 50Bs. And it looks like the 50Bs will be sent to kill them. If the Batchat's aware, the Batchat can... Nope. The Batrat's making the play that... Actually, what is the Batrat doing? He's going to kill the E4. No, he is going back there. It's too late, though. Does not look like... a good situation for this Action X. Mm -mm. He's... Oh, I'm... Yeah, he's gonna try and hide He's just there. going. He's just prolonging. Yeah. Decoy really needs to push this corner if they're going to do anything, but they don't really have the hit points to do it anymore. They've been bled quite a bit by RNC getting into this position. I mean, it's two super cocks. If they're going to do it, they got to go now. This Judah in the I-7 just needs to lead and take both shots. 
He has the most hit points, he can just go. It doesn't appear. RNC is dropping off. The cap pressure with the 57. I mean, Decoy's making a nice push here at the end. If they can kill this Super Conqueror fast, they have a chance they can get the 57 heavy. Both 50 Bs are out of the fight. They really need to kill this Super Conk faster, though, with all their tanks being here. They need to stop shooting the 57 heavy. Yeah, those 50 Bs, that action X. Hold those 50 Bs off just long enough for uh, Decoy to get the overmatch and able to win that bottom fight. RNC can still win this though because of the clip potential that they have, but it is going to be very difficult for these 50 Bs to be able to kill everything effectively because they have a lot of well, they would have points. to. Yeah, they do, but they same. also have two high hit points and a yeah. batch out that's rotating out. I think the key point, the the key, the winning factors of this match were the 250Bs pulling off and this batch at being able to successfully 1v1 the E4 and come out on top. Yeah, that's game. So GG's to Decoy. Do we know whose map this was? Uh, this was uh, RNC's map. RNC's, okay. So it's Decoy's map pick now. Yeah. Even the E4 on Decoy's team doing 3,000, the I7 doing 4K, just putting in massive work on that corner, uh, both those guys, and then, unfortunately, RNC, one of the RNCs dropping a donut. But, RNC, the damage spread was pretty even, you know, if that I7 could have gotten 2K, that would have been RNC's game, it's just certain things didn't go their way that match. GG's to both teams. What is that? 1-1 one, one now? Yep. Going into the second map? Yep. Alright. Do we know what the second map is? Merlevanka, if I'm not mistaken. Merlevanka. This is a fun map. I'm a personal... One of my personal favorites, this in Steps, I'd say. Really two, I'd say, of uh, the most competitive maps out there. This steps, um, Ghost Town, Proc, are all really good maps from a purely competitive standpoint. Cliff used to be, not really so much anymore. It's still competitive, but Wargaming were moving the climb really. Yeah, hurt them. They, they removed a lot of the fun out of it. <laughs> Yeah, there's still some super useful climbs that you can put certain tank destroyers in, um, or even light tanks to uh, just get, like, lights of vehicles rotating about, but nothing like you used to be able to set decaps off and have easy lights, so it's unfortunate. Um, Merle Vanka, what do I, what, what do you guys think, what's the tank lineup going to be? What do you think we'll see the most of? Oh, with this league, there could be a pair of the units to go up and run the match. I would not be surprised if one of them pulls out an arty. That, that happened a lot. Yeah. This season. We have um, artillery strats for this map, too. It's a valid setup. If you do it right, it's very good. Especially if you, if you have a very good artillery player. We are fortunate where we do have a very good artillery player. Um, I honestly think this will just be a 1, 2, 3, 4 fight. That's where you'll see most of the tanks. You're going to see a lot of Super Conquerors and yeah. heavier conquerors. armored vehicles. A light tank or two. 7201. Hold out. Okay. Yeah. That's, I mean, it's not really that good of a tank, but... Uh, if they can make it work, I mean, the E100 is just better. The gun handling of the 71K is far inferior to the E100s, and the turret is just as bad because 
I mean, a lot of the normal puppies don't know this, but you can just spam premium straight through the gun mantle of the VK. Mm -hmm. And pen most of the time. A decoy coming out with the more flamboyant setup, though, I'd say. Uh, with not matching a single tank, not taking, you know, any super conquerors at all. I kind of like Both the T100 choice, on, but not a big fan of the Kronvon. That was tried last year, and it, it just really hard to to help support because of the the long reload and long uh, clip. The Kronvon on, on console has actually gotten some console exclusive buffs. It's in a pretty good state right now, and like yeah, for pubs, I need to stress this for pubs. It's a very good tank. Stationary, it has the same gun handling as the Object 140 now. Uh, it's pretty fast. The reload on it is like 29 seconds, which isn't terrible, but for competitive, so for what these teams are going to use the Kronwagen for, it's going to be ridge peaking uh, chieftains and super conquerors. It just doesn't work mm -hmm. because of the lack of penetration and the fact that it's an auto loader. Uh, we'll see, though, um, if they just use it as a. 50B supplement, which they could, uh, with RNC not having any vision at all, that team in is going to be able to run free and wild um, if he plays the, plays it correctly throughout the entirety of the map with the batch at support. So RNC most likely just going to play 1-2-3 line. I'd say Decoy is going to play 1-2-3 line also, but send batch at uh, team 100 on the flank. But the possibility of the patent maybe also coming with them. It's just going to be whose heavies can play better in this uh, scenario. Because RNC is going to have to adapt to a situation very quickly once the batch out into another LT show up in a place that they're going to be unexpected. Mm -hmm. So, Also, E4s on this map don't really work. Uh, and let's put in very strategic locations, just because of the nature of an E4. It does it does very well on flat ground, and most of the fighting on this map does take place on the ridges. Uh, but we'll see. Which is why I am genuinely surprised why, why both teams did not pick uh, the maximum of two super conquerors. And the two chieftains, like two chieftains, is a good pick. Um, but it's better for those chieftains to be just the support tanks to the super conquerors because super conquerors put in work and then 5As are also very good for this map just because of the 7 degrees of gun depression and the gun that the 5A gets in a haul down competition the 5A will beat a super conqueror um, based off HE spam and heat uh, penetration alone super conqueror peaks on a 5A he's losing anywhere from 150 to like 200 health 250 uh, health a shot, which is equivalent to just like a 90 mil hitting you. Whereas the Super Con can only do around 50 to 100 to a 5A. And um, you will see this at a lot of the higher tiers, not a lot of the lower tiers, but the. If you look at a Super Conqueror's turret, anywhere that is not the gun mantle and the heat shield is easy pen for the 5A's heat on a ridge any day long. And I know it. It doesn't look like it's that big of a target, but it really is a massive target uh, for a weak spot. Uh, if the 5A knows what they're doing, the 5A will just destroy a Super Conqueror in a 1v1 on a ridge fight. He can just, especially the closer you get to a 5A in a 1v1 on a ridge, the more danger the Super Con gets in because the 5A will just go through its turret with heat. Uh, but with the Chieftains, it's the opposite though with the Chieftains. The Chieftains will do better on a ridge versus the 5A. Um, if it's a smart Chieftain player and they're able to effectively hide their Capola, because the Chieftain's hash is actually better than the Super Conquerors, and they don't have the problem where the 5A can just heat pen through its anywhere on its turret, really. This is what I'm saying. RNC needs to make a play here before they get completely circled. They didn't send anyone to K2 either to protect themselves, uh... From the team under LT taking that position. We'll see what's going to go on here. Yeah, it looks like they may be taking advantage of it. If RNC um, does push here, these medium tanks and these light tanks are going to have to move fast, especially that patent. That patent's. 
He's not out of the fight, but he is gonna have to get there fast. Looks like they're gonna hold position. RNC needs to push to win this game. When they sit here, they're gonna get bled. If decoy, it's a shame. If decoy had a tank in a C1 right now, uh, they could be farming these RNC players uh, for free. Holding them in a tight cross, or even an artillery. But it does look like RNC is gonna get picked apart by decoy. Going into this bowl. E4 is just super out of the fight right now. He can't really do much. I don't. It's not really his fault. He can't go to a ridge. He can't outspot the light tanks. It looks like he was set up for uh, south flank for the the T100. Was I think he was just. But they went through the town instead. They set him up to uh, watch the light tanks, and there you can see like he. Peaked for half a second, lost all of his hit points because he sat there for too long. He, that's why the E4 is not that good unless you can hide it. RNC just got picked apart there in the bull cross. Decoy is definitely making a statement on their first season. Oh. They're probably a little mad about the first game, a little upset. <laughs> yeah. Get some anger to get out. Venting um, that anger. <laughs> I mean, RNC hasn't been playing bad. It's just been small mistakes. And it definitely can go either way for this uh, third game. Or what is it? The fourth game that we're going to go into here. With, I'm going to call it. I'm going to say that Decoy probably wins this match. Um... We'll see. Maybe the 50B can pull something out. One bounce. And that's all he gets. GG to decoy. Um, yeah, this match was lost once RNC gave up too much map control. Um, it wasn't... It's not a terrible thing. You can do it. You can give away the map control. But you need certain tanks in certain positions preventing the T100LT and Batcha doing what they just did. Which is just a experience thing and a time thing that people gotta get used to. The E4 on Decoy team doing 4,000 damage on that corner. Really good. He was just able to peek on these, uh, probably honestly mostly on that VK 7201K. Because what do you see? He received 9, no, maybe not, I don't know. But. He's just able to farm those chieftains and those 50Bs. Did those chieftains give up the ridge positions? I can't quite remember. Did they just were they the ones in the cap circle? Uh, yeah, I think it was the one chieftain was in the back with the E4. Chieftains and in the back. So they what they else had chieftain super count. Yeah. I'd say if they want to do that again, I would definitely just use a Russian tanks to take the cap circle, not the British. If you can hold. You could have held your British tanks um, just peeking above, and you could have peeked them around to the side also where the medium tanks and light tanks were to shoot them and prevented that. It's just small. You also, um, this is just another thing, you didn't need to send, what, they had like five tanks in the cap circle? Yes. Yeah, five, or, like five or two more. Of their team. I, thought they were I mean, push. you they really helped. only need two tanks in there to start the heat burning underneath someone's feet. Once you send more than two tanks, you're giving up a lot of firepower. Um, because the only the only uh, place those tanks can peek is on that corner. And you can't peek like, you know, six tanks. This is what, you know, you try doing and then you just get messed up. People like pull back at incorrect times. Uh, to prevent, you know, getting shot, and the, the enemy just ends up shooting your teammate anyways, and decided it doesn't work. Now, see, this this loadout by RNC, this is a... I'd say it's not so much standard. Or, yeah, this I'll say this is a standard loadout. You can definitely win with this loadout on this map. That's very good. What, two Super Conks, two Chieftains, 430U, two Batchets. Very good.
One second, dog's barking. Be quiet for a second. All right. Anyways, um, decoy coming out with a another flamboyant lineup. Uh, this time it worked for them. Last game, so we're gonna see if they can make it work again. This game, but I do not think that RNC is going to let them take field control as easily. But we will see what happens. Both teams, again, I think are just going to play 1, 2, 3, 4 line, with the exception of the medium tanks and light tanks. I'm going to go have a fight out in the field. Uh, we'll see how they do it. See who's going to be the king this time. Should be a little bit longer than that, too. Yeah, RNC's lineup is definitely set up better for holding the 1, 2, 3, 4 line than Decoy's is, just because of the lack of super conks out of Decoy. Um, cause even though I was saying, you know, the super conks get beat by a 5A, the super conks are still very good tanks with the 10 degrees of gun depression. The, Hash said they get the APCR rounds, the gun handling, hit points, everything. But we are going to see if Decoy can, I'd say, overcome a better lineup. This match will be won by the medium tanks because I do think they're just going to end up playing uh, the field 7890 line. Maybe something in the city, a light tank or two, but we will see. RNC, both teams, well, I'd say more RNC can get punished heavily leaving uh, the field. Just because their spawn's better for it. If they get any sort of, if Decoy gets any light tanks or a medium or two to light their heavy tanks. Shooting at the side of a uh, Chieftains and Conquerors is a lot better than shooting at the sides of 5As, IS-7s, and Kronglogans. Tune RT lighting three Batchats. Careful there. Yeah, the, but the Batchats are all still reloading for quite a bit. The 430U is... gonna stay... Oh, we got hit by the 430 Decoy is... baiting. Well, they're waiting, because they expect the medium tank push to happen. They just don't know when. But it is gonna leave their... 1, 2, 3, 4 line... Uh, definitely unprotected. 5A Chieftain I7. And an E4 cannot win against this heavy tank force that's gonna come over here. So RNC needs to deal with these guys fast or rotate the bat chest all the way back around and instantly push F2. Well yeah, these guys are RNC waiting. Looks like they're doing that. 432 falling behind though. 430U can just play the A line and be fine. Or swap out with a batch at, but if these batch ats were to get um, group up with these guys, this would be an easy push. They need to do something fast though before Decoy gains full map control yet again. Iron Will Wallace losing a lot of hit points to that uh, T100 LT. RNT's gonna put themselves in the same situation they got into last game if they're not careful here. Uh, it is very easy for um, RNC now to move into the cap circle because they have the. I mean, uh, it's not very easy. This IS-7 and the Super Conqueror out of RNC, if they were over more on the um, one line, they'd be able to get into an effective position to punish the. Uh, I-7 and E-4 if they overpeaked at all to shoot uh, their teammates if they entered the cap, if RNC entered the cap, but RNC again has given up all map control. It looks like they're going for a turtle. Which a turtle can work? I mean, it's, it's been done before. I know it has been. Alright. 
Or third of you just I think we are going to see a push here in a second. Oh, he's lit. These medium tanks need to push this fast. These heavy tanks need to push this. This batch I going in by himself is not going to last long. Um, I believe a push was called and then they've diverted this batch that's diverted to go deal with the team in ROT, which is fine, but these heavy tanks need to push in here and fast and kill. Uh, this IS-7 needs to be the first one. It doesn't, or they're going to go up to the medium tanks. The medium tanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they should have just pushed that IS-7 and E-4. Taking them out and gone for 5A. Yeah, they have just put themselves in the same crossfire they wanted mm -hmm. to do the first game. Although unintentionally, I think, because I th they just think what happened here is they said we're going to push the heppies and then the mediums got spotted and then they said no, we're going to push the mediums. Yeah, just a little confusion. They are starting to get their focus fire down though, IS-7. They need to kill this IS-7 fast, he should be dead. This there shot out of the super gun, no he bounced, it doesn't matter. E4, E4 needs to shoot longs, yep. E4 took out the one shot before he dies. This chieftain going in by himself to take all these shots is not going to be good. Because he will die to the wrong bug and almost reloaded. Looks like he was going to try and use the E4 for cover, but someone tracked him. Someone tracked the E4. Though. Five A's one shot. This chieftain should kill him. Nope, chieftain for some reason shot the other chieftain. Chieftain needed to kill the 5A there. Keeping a gun in the game is not the Ooh, best decision. The I mean, good plays out of decoy, um... Uh, I mean, <laughs> it's good plays out of both teams. I don't know there's why. There's a misplay on RNC's part. For but every pushing, time not pushing that I like stream, they to. there's a bat chat that rains an IS-7 at the end of a battle. I don't know wh why they do that. It's just a finesse thing. Man. It's just a finesse <laughs> thing. Damage spread out of decoy is fantastic. Um, you know, each tank was putting in work, each tank was doing damage, that's really good. The Krongwagen not, you know, doing the least amount of damage, and that's just to show that the Krongwagen really isn't that good of a tank. Um, RNC's Batrats really were not able to put out the damage that they needed to. If a Batrat can get one clip out of damage, it's usually worth it. Worth itself on the battlefield, but, um, fortunately it wasn't able to do it that time. It's just like the only reason RNC lost this or that it was, you know, that we didn't go into the third, uh, into Ghost Town, which I believe is the tiebreaker map, is just because of small misplays. Um, when they went to push, yeah, on the second map on Muro, if they would have just stuck with it, stuck with their gut, pushed all the heavy tanks, um, on their heavy tanks, and just like that, they would have won the game. But they hesitated for a second with the medium tanks being spotted, so. Uh, GG to decoy, GG to both teams. Both teams, I'd say, did good. Yep. Um, you know, if you see these teams in another week or two, uh, it could go either way. It could be RNC's game to win next time when we see them. Because they will look at this and they'll know what they did wrong and let's we'll see, all right, we, we know what we need to do next time and it just won't work. Uh, what decoy did, but that'll be interesting to see if they do play each other again uh, later on. I think they do, don't they? Don't every team, like, repeat? The... Yeah, every team plays each other twice. Yeah, so second round for this. I expect this map to go into at least Ghost Town. If not, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. Yep. But... I'll be honest with you, I thought Decoy wouldn't have uh, played as well as they did them being a new clan. Props no, they them. did. They did a really good job. Oh, yeah. Um, it looks like I think they had some idea of what they were doing. I just think they need to work on their um, the tanks that they had doing it. There's certain tanks that they selected where other tanks do better jobs. Which I mean, little uh, things. It could just be a thing. A lot of the new clans, when they're smaller, not everyone has you know, not everyone has a super conquer, especially if you have a bunch of new players, or not everyone has a a batch at. You know, mm -hmm. uh, you know, some people will just have like one or two tanks, and that's what you have to work with, and that's okay. That goes for RNC side too. You know, some people have 
X amount of tanks. You know, I know you can go into the at least my team that I play with UNL and everybody has, you know, this, this, and this uh, for sure. And you go into a lobby and you're going to have everyone has a super cocker, everyone has a batch hat. But when you're new, you have to come up with the creative strats, especially if you're a caller, uh, to the tanks that your team has. So. so we'll see. Maybe in when these guys play each other in three weeks, you know, some of these tanks will be ground out where decoy will have super conks and so so we'll see. Yep. It'll be interesting. Alrighty, thanks again, Killer, for stopping by and commentating with me. Yeah, no problem. Alrighty guys, that's gonna end it for me. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, next stream is going to be tomorrow. It's just a personal stream. Uh, I do have a GTL match on Sunday where it'll be like L7 versus Immortals, if I'm not mistaken. Let me double check that real quick before I shove myself in a shoebox. Yeah, yeah, I can use a commentator. I, I just uh, said I can stream it on GTL Discord. Okay. I'm trying to look it up right now. Pro League Champions. Confirmed. Uh, Immortals vs. L7, Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern. I hope, yeah, I'll be there for that one. So. Okay. Yeah, I'll shoot you a message on Discord. I'm getting on. That's good. I mean, take it easy. Yep. Peace. You guys have a nice one. Thanks for uh, doing all this. So. Yep. And thanks for all for. Uh, let me know when the stream's done. Yep. No problem. No, no problem, peace. guys. Anytime you need a mod, let me know. Yep. So yeah, next personal stream is tomorrow. I'll probably do uh, it's just texture grinding. And then uh, GTL match on Sunday. So thanks again, everyone, and I'll see you next time. Later.